Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And welcome to another video on firearms trivia. And the subject is Winchester Black Talon Ammunition. Now, a lot of the current generation of new shooters have never seen Black Talon or even heard of Black Talon ammunition by Winchester because it was only produced for about a year and heavily advertised it sold well during that year but what happened in the demise of Winchester Black Talon ammunition actually was a landmark situation for the PR of a shooting sports and ammunition back in the 1990s the year was 1992 when Black Talon ammunition came out. And back then, all the ammunition was rated as to incapacitation index and knockdown power and percentage of one-shot stops. And all of this kind of thing was used to advertise ammunition. Now what set Black Talon ammunition apart was that Winchester heavily advertised it because of the vicious nature of the bullet. Now this was back in the days when the molly coated bullets were popular. This is the molly coating. Also the ammo was put into nickel cases that was very slick and loaded easily and functioned well. Premium ammo and it was high cost back in those days. Now what set Black Talon ammunition apart from all the other ammunition was the advertisement that when the bullets expanded and, and they expanded very well the petals that came out from the expanded bullet featured little blades little talons little buzz saws and the idea was the bullet caused a great deal of tissue damage mangling tissue well this caused a lot of negative PR that eventually caused Winchester to take the Black Talon ammo off the shelves before a year had gone by. Plus all the ammo companies rethought their advertising so they, don't, they did not feature things like incapacitation index and knockdown power and percentage of one shot stops that was all throughout the industry until Black Talon caused the negative PR and now you don't see any more of that kind of advertisement being done when it comes to ammunition. Now I don't know if you can see this or not but inside there each one of those petals and there's the lead right there but each one of those petals actually has a little a little triangular blade sticking out that was actually copper colored and when this thing opened up those little blades came out and it made it look like a buzz saw. Now there's lots of stuff on YouTube that really interests us and causes us uh, to smile. Like for instance when a Tannerite goes off and creates a big explosion, we kind of rejoice and celebrate. And when we see a clay block blown into 10 pieces with a huge 10 inch uh, exit hole, or when we see gelatin blocks that are showing uh, huge wound cavities and we're talking about how much destruction is in there well sure all that's good stuff for us right but we should consider there's a negative PR factor to that and uh, it's still a battle for the minds of men and women and this kind of thing so we should consider that perhaps keep those, some of that stuff down to a low key it just may be a little bit more difficult to promo the uh, shooting sports to a wider audience when uh, there's some fearsome destruction being done on clay and, and gel blocks, this kind of thing. Negative PR is a powerful thing and we need to consider that it caused the destruction of this whole line of ammunition. I'm almost certain that we'd have black Talon ammo today if it wasn't for all the negative PR that caused its downfall. Now it turns out that Winchester actually took the molly coating off, removed the pedals, and renamed this ammo their Ranger line. And uh, 
there's not uh, too much negative PR to Ranger. Black Talon was back in the days when Darth Vader was a looming menace. And you know about uh, Darth Vader with that uh, hood and, and mask of his. Kind of looks like these Black Talon, don't you think? Take care and Fortune Cookie 45 LC signing off. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.